that was not a mistake. Every governor, you see, when these people talk about um, Godfatherism and all that, every governor, including Peter Obi, Peter Obi brought Will, um, Willie Obiano from Fidelity Bank, as MD Fidelity Bank. He was never in government. He brought him and imposed it on the people of Anambra State. Willie Obiano became governor. A year down the line, they had issues. Allegedly, because Peter Obi, the money that he said he saved, that he saved in banks, was meant to be shared. On, this, on the 19th of October, 20, on the 19th of October, so 2016, you know, on the 19th of October, 2016, Willie Obiano came out. It's in the newspapers. It's everywhere that Peter Obi demanded for 7.5 billion from him as money he used to sponsor him for the governorship. Willie Obiano was not known to anybody in governance. Peter Obi refused to conduct local government elections seven, seven years and seven years and ten months. Just he conducted local government election in Anambra State two months before he left office. That is not somebody that is prepared for governance at the, at the top level. Ashwa Dibola Metunubu was governor in Lagos State. He conducted local government election three times in the space of eight years and created 36 LCDA so that governance will get to the grassroots. These are things we should be talking about, not these rhetorics about somebody is coming to say, there is no, there is no substance in appearing in all social media, uh, in all media houses, churches or everywhere and start talking about and start talking about what I will do, what I will do. Meanwhile, you were governor for eight years. What is the situation of Anambra today? If you say Tinubu was godfather in Lagos, has Lagos improved? The IGR of Lagos, that is just a simple indices for indicating what the progress of a country, of a state is. The IGR of Lagos was 600 million when he came. He left it after eight years at 5.5 billion, established LIRS, established institutions, sustainable institutions that have Grown that IGR okay. to 57 billion as we speak. What is in Anambra? What has Peter Obi done in Anambra with Onita? One of the greatest assets that, could, that Africa can have. What has he done with Onita Market? He is in Lagos. He lives in Lagos, attend night vigils in Lagos. His family, his children, lives in Lagos. Anambra State is there. He doesn't do anything. So this issue about we stand for Paris, Tokyo.